So is there is there like a, a, a is there like, you know, because you have movies like, for example, Interstellar, for example, that try to kind yes. of visualize what outer space looks like and that journey. Uh, like, like how, 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 how good of a job they do in trying to visualize that for the viewer? So most of sci-fi movies are very funny. Yeah. Are good but they're scientifically not accurate. <laughs> <laughs> How so? Well, <laughs> I don't know. Um, there are so many things to say about it, right? right? Uh, um, impossible travels, impossible right. uh, machines invented. Right. Um, for example, I don't know, Armageddon, which right. everybody loves. Yeah, I love Armageddon. <laughs> it's one of my most favorite movies. I loved it. Did you like because of the soundtrack or because of the movie? The music or because of the, cause of the Aerosmith? The soundtrack. Yeah. <laughs> the soundtrack. Yeah. How they presented the asteroid. Right. Like with these blades. Uh, that's coming what we out, think. Yeah, like super jagged. They put sharp the plates. <laughs> Come on, just look at the picture of an asteroid. It's just a potato <laughs> with some crater. It's a potato. <laughs> yeah, but you got to make it look dangerous and jagged, you know, and like sharp. Yeah, which was totally unnecessary. I mean, I get it that it's pretty much dangerous to land there, mm. mostly because of gravity. Yeah. Like it's a, Gravity is non existent. Uh, I mean, it's very, very low. Um, and really landing on an asteroid and starting to dig. As soon as you start to dig, you just jump. So that won't happen if we land on asteroids, huh? So that's what you're saying. <laughs> I would not uh, uh, frack an asteroid in that way. <laughs> I would just bombard it. <laughs> Yeah. Just 